Hello, and welcome to Waterdog Photography Blog. I'm Brooke Peterson. In October of 2015, Creative Cloud came up with some updates to Lightroom CC. One of those updates included putting the dehaze slider into the localized toolbox. So today I'm going to do a little bit of tutorial on some of the tools that are in the localized toolbox. If you open up your image in the library and you click on the develop module, on the right hand side will be a lot of toolboxes uh, full of things that you can use to adjust that image. Under the histogram and above the basic are these localized tools right here. So today we're going to talk about the crop tool and also the adjustment brush which includes some of the uh, new adjustments that they have made um, the updates in Lightroom CC 2015. So first on the crop tool, when you click on this crop tool, a box drops down and it, it'll have the aspect and then it'll have original with an up and down arrow. If you click on that original arrow, you can choose how you want these, uh, these crops to be made. So I can crop it as shot or original, or I can do a custom crop and I can also choose the size I want. If I want it to be an 8x10 or a 5x7, um, I, I can choose those aspect ratios or I can enter my own custom aspect ratio. I'm going to choose original because that's the way that it came out of my camera. And then next to this original drop down box there's a lock. And right now this lock is open. So when that lock is open, if I were to click on uh, say the corner of this image to, to adjust it, it would not remain the aspect ratio that uh, that came originally out of my camera. It would, it would be um, unconstrained. So I can move it however wa I want, whatever size I want. Um, I could do that from the corner or I could do it from the side or from the top. Um, but I don't, want, I don't want it to look like that. So I'm going to press the reset and I'm going to lock it. Now when it's locked, it will stay the original aspect that it came out of my camera, no matter where I drag it from. So if I drag from this side or if I drag from a corner, it will stay the same um, aspect ratio. So I want to crop this image, it has this nice rule of thirds uh, overlay and I want it to be just about a third of it on the darker side and then the two thirds over here a little bit lighter. So I'm going to pull out some of this dark on this side. Um, when I've got it the size I want, I click on done and it crops the image for me. And that's, that's all there is to the crop image, Im crop tool. The other tool I'd like to go over is the adjustment brush. When you click on the adjustment brush this menu drops down and it has all kinds of different uh, things that you can do in just a localized area. Um, for example, uh, when you click on the brush you need to select the size of the brush. Right now mine is set to 16. I could make it quite a bit larger or quite a bit smaller. Um, I like it at about, I like it rather large because I'm going to go over this area right in here. So I'm going to put it close to 20 for these purposes. Now uh, what I'd like to do is dehaze this area. It's quite hazy and also in front of this rock is quite hazy. But I like the way that the sunbeams look coming down over here on the, on the in the middle of the image and towards the left. So I'm going to leave those alone. So I wouldn't want to dehaze this entire image. I just want to dehaze this area right here. So I'm going to go to the dehaze slider which is right down here in the middle of clarity and saturation. And I'm going to pull it all the way up to 100 so that I can see what I'm doing as I dehaze this. All right, so as I go over this area, and also in front of the rock, it makes it quite a bit uh, more dehazed than I would like. So I can see what I've done, but I'm then I'm going to, after I've painted over it, I'm going to pull that slider down to where it, I want it to look a little bit normal maybe uh, about around 40 or so. Okay, now if I hover over this um, dot, you can see where I've painted. It'll show up in red. So that's a, a masking tool that shows you what you've done. All right, anything else that I do in this box while I have this, this tool open for, for this dot um, will only affect that area that was in red. So say I wanted to adjust the exposure or, or the contrast um, maybe I want to bring down the highlights, uh, bring up the whites, something like that. All those things will apply only to that area. So when I'm finished with that, 
I can click Done, and just that area will be adjusted. If I want to adjust another area, maybe I want to uh, darken a, a part of this, maybe I want to darken the top of this rock right here, um, I can click New, and it will save this one, and it will give me the option of doing a new tool. So as soon as I click here, there I have that new tool right there. Now, right now it's doing dehaze because that's what I had up at 100%. But what I really wanted to adjust was maybe the exposure. I wanted to bring the exposure on that rock down just a little bit. Again, if I hover over this, I can see what area I've painted. And it's only applying to this area right here that I've, I've painted. When I'm finished with that, I can click Done. And those are just a couple of local adjustments that I've done to this image, only to this area right here and here. Now if I wanted to finish this image, I could come over here to the basic toolbox and I could work on any general adjustments in here that would um, cover the entire image. Um, or may maybe I want to, to do some other things down here, but those tools are for adjusting the entire image. These tools up here are for making localized adjustments. So I hope you've learned something new about using the crop tool and about using the adjustment brush. If you have enjoyed learning from these, please watch more of my tutorials on my YouTube channel here, or you could go to Water Dog Photography blog and learn more about underwater photography there. I also have a gallery at waterdogphotography.com. Please visit that, and thank you for watching.